Hey everyone, welcome back to the range. My name is Matt. We test a lot of ammunition here today and have one I haven't tested before. This is our plastic training ammunition from DAG, 762 by 51 millimeters or 762 NATO or 308 Winchester. We'll throw him on the table and see what we have in store today. I apologize in advance about any of the wind noise you may experience. I'll have to try to clean that up in post. We have three barrel lengths afforded to us, a 12 and a half inch, a 16 and 21. I am not using the 22 inch TC compass because the head diameter on our DAG is actually around 20 thousandths or more smaller than traditional sizing on regular brass ammunition. I'll have to annotate what that size is. Because it's smaller, they did not want to, or the extractor in the TC compass did not want to grab the rim and extract, and that wasn't fun when I did some pre-testing on this. So I have three guns that I know they kind of work in. It's about 55 to 60 degrees outside today and sunny. If I forgot to mention in the opening, I'm using a competition electronics Pro Chrono DLX. We've got it at about 10 to 12 feet. We'll start with our 12 and a half inch SBR. This is a Palmetto State Armory build. Got the Radeon Ambi charging handles on there. The Battle Arms ambidextrous safety selectors. Magpul stock. Very nice little short barrel rifle. From what I understand about these rounds is they're a training round and they will only they won't cycle traditional semi-automatics. They'll work in a bolt gun obviously. They were designed for some HK guns over in Germany and if you ran a lighter bolt that you could get these to cycle. I think there's a few videos online of someone running some of these through a full auto HK 51. Oh, they kind of feed. That's a good thing. Uh, I don't know where I want to put these. Wow. 4,300 feet per second. That one ejected. That's good. These things are moving. Seem to work good in an AR-10 bolt, from PSA anyways. I figure five rounds out of each barrel length should be sufficient for testing these. And now our 16 inch, this is a CZ-557 Urban Counter Sniper. I do believe this is discontinued by CZ. I probably should do a review on it someday. I think I've had it for over two years and haven't touched the review on it. I probably also forgot to mention at the beginning of this video, this ammunition was donated by a follower named Daniel. So thank you, Daniel, for donating this for us to test. Hopefully I haven't forgotten anything else today. Looks like they're getting extracted, but not all the way with the CZ. But at least they're coming out of the chamber. Or just run bolt faster and they'll come out. I don't know about you guys, but these things are smoking fast for a little 10 grain bullet. And finally, for our longest barrel length that we brought out today, this is a 21 inch metric FAL. Has an Enterprise Arms upper receiver on it. Otherwise, it's all STG 58 parts on here. Pretty easy little build. I've got a Yankee Hill flash hider up front for mounting a suppressor on, but I don't really bring this out too much anymore.
almost hit 4,800 feet per second with those things. Here is our DAG training ammunition in our CZ-557. That is basically nine inches at 100 yards. There is a little bit of wind today, but I was shooting on a calm spot, so the wind shouldn't affect these very much, but that's not very good accuracy. We'll throw these in the one in 12 twist. Maybe that will fare a little better with this 10 grain bullet. As requested by Daniel, we're gonna see how well these do against ballistic gel. Since the velocity difference between the 16 and 22 inch wasn't that great, it was only about 60 feet per second, we're gonna use the 16 inch here so I can make sure I hopefully hit the block and not the chronograph and ruin the rest of my day out here. Although it's kind of cold with the wind and I should have brought a jacket. I think Mr. Hootie Who shot these against Ballistic Show and he couldn't get them to penetrate, so we'll see what happens. Well, I see what looks like a penetration down there. We might as well fire a couple of these in here, you know, just because. Move over here a little bit. Not too concerned with the velocity right now because we already have a good average. I'm shooting all over this block and I'm not shooting directly underneath the chronograph. Let's go see what we did. As you all can see, there are three very large holes in our ballistic gel block, but maybe an inch of penetration at the most, oh, sorry, gimbal. And then these two guys I found back at my desk. Very interesting. Definitely have nothing in terms of penetration. Well, Daniel, I hope that answers your question about these 10 grain training rounds from DAG. Very limited use in my opinion. I don't have a G3 or an HK51, especially the lightened carriers needed to get these to function. So any firearm that I'm gonna put them in is gonna be pretty much single shot. So it would be limited to bolt guns with the smaller head diameter. Then you gotta be careful to make sure that you can actually extract these out of your gun after every shot. As far as accuracy goes, at 100 yards, it was absolutely horrible. You know, broad side of the barn, accurate. Some of the online information claims they're accurate up to 300 meters. I, they didn't give a qualification as to the group size. I'm sure you could lob one out there. Our gel results pretty much mimicked Mr. Hootie Who's where he was getting them to bounce out of the gel and not even penetrate. We got one inches of penetration and they pretty much mushroomed out. As I close out this video, I always take a moment to thank all those who helped make these possible. Number one is my Patreon supporters. Number two is Daniel who sent this ammunition for us to test. And of course, number three is you all for watching. Until next time, I'll catch you at the range.